It's the first course of its kind in the world. Ultimately, it's based on a traditional mechanical engineering course. Um, to the extent where in the first years, actually, uh, all of the students are in exactly the same classes. You need to understand the basics of manufacture and science, engineering science, mathematics, that sort of thing. The basic theory is exactly the same, you're just applying it to a slightly different industry. In, in years two and three, um, you're looking at more specialist equipment, um, you're applying lessons learned to low volume production, um, potentially, um, you know, kite surfboards or surfboards or whatever. Uh, and then also how you how you go about starting your own business and running a successful business and hopefully that's what the graduates of this course will end up doing. My name's Ollie Thorman and I used to be a student here at this university. Um, since leaving I've done many things, one of which was starting a kite surfing brand. Once I left uh, this university I went and got a few various different jobs in, in the design world, mainly within sport industries. And four years ago, uh, myself and a friend, we started Mutiny Kites uh, with a goal of um, having a very design-led business and changing the way that kites were manufactured. Currently, they are some mass manufactured in bulk and we wanted to do a lean manufacturing system, which is a much more modern twist on, on manufacturing techniques. We're selling kites and as a brand, we are, we are growing and selling more kites to more countries around the world. Within the UK, what we're really starting to see in the, in the extreme sports industry, and exactly the same as we are in the automotive industry, is opportunities for high value products. Products which are well engineered and well manufactured. If we look at that, for example, uh, an example of a, a, a very well engineered, high end product. We can't compete with um, commodity items which are mass produced. Um, the, the UK labour rate simply means we can't do that. However, high-end products which are well engineered we can certainly produce and we see that in the automotive industry. The automotive industry um, is very successful at the moment um, but high-end products. My name is Owen Taylor, I am the project leader on the structural analysis of carbon fibre handlebars project. The group project is looking into the structural loadings and dynamic loadings on uh, uh, carbon fibre handlebars for track and racing bikes. The way the project's worked is First of all, when we, when we first received the project, a lot of research went in. This is the first time we've used instruments such as strain gauges and um, bridges. So we had to go away and do a lot of research on that. Um, a lot of uh, hand calculations, analytical um, problems using stuff like slope and deflection of beams. My role during this whole thing is all the hands-on analytical calculations, so I'm doing basically all the hand calculations before we do the test to see if everything matches up. So I've been looking at stress and strain, what we expect to see on the bike. I've also looked at slope and deflection of the beams. So I've modelled the handlebars that we're looking at as a simple cantilever beam, which is supported at one end. And I'm looking then to see how much slope and deflection you can see on the handlebars when a rider's putting their weight on it. I'm doing extreme sports engineering and I've very much enjoyed the course. The practical aspects, um, the hands-on, the amount of hands-on work I've got to do. Yes, there's a lot of science and maths involved. However, we do get to do a lot of stuff like this where we get to, to actually put the theory into practice. Mm -hmm.